Hello guys, uh, welcome to the, the Mail Theory channel. This is uh, Sai and today we will be learning about now your DevOps YAML for CI CD step by step. Okay. Now, yesterday we already learned a couple of topics from a couple of uh, previous days. One is you also learned about DevOps, right? And the, the phases. We also understood the, the pipeline. Now, you need to understand, you know, today we're going to discuss about the the basics of YAML, how to use YAML file in, in Azure pipelines. And the third one, how to configure YAML in CI CD. Okay, so this is the agenda for today, guys. Okay, one is let's understand what is the basics of YAML file and how to use YAML file in Azure pipelines and how to configure the YAML in CI CD pipelines in In Azure DevOps. Okay, so let's get into the um, the first one that is YAML overview. Okay, now first of all, let's understand what it stands for. Okay, you can you can you know it stands for Ain't markup language. Okay, and it is a very human friendly language mainly used for configuration files. Guys, remember this point, this point is very important. And it's also used for storing debugging output. Okay. And it got very limited syntax, which we will discuss in in next couple of minutes okay so these are the main three you know you should remember it is a it is used to build configuration files it's also used for storing debugging output and it's got very limited okay syntax is is very limited okay now Let's understand the, the YAML basic structure. When I say YAML, it's, it's a YAML file, okay? Now, you should always remember it got three main things. One is trigger. Two, it got pool. Three, it got steps. That's it. This is this is the YAML file code, guys. Okay, this is it. The trigger you can mention, which is like, for example, let's say, okay, there is some master VM. Okay, I mention as 
master VM and the pool is a VM image. I'll say that, okay, there is some Linux. And the third step is I said, you know, tasks, right? So I'm gonna say that, okay, now build file or, you know, you can also have uh, publish. You can also, you know, um, result like you can also give like you know working directory so this is like a, a very basic uh, yaml file guys okay so you'll be saying that okay now you can observe the task you know uh, it, it just referring to build a, a build file this is you're saying that build an image with all these steps Okay, so this is what we, we're gonna the whole uh, basic structure now I'll give you one more example okay let's understand YAML structure schema okay now we can call it as because uh, we already discussed that you know the yaml files we always use in azure pipelines so how exactly we'll be using so if you have a pipeline now you have a some stage or a, you have a, some environment one in which you have a job in which you have some steps performed one two three and similarly you have a stage two in environment two and perform some steps one two three so here if you look at the the schema you can keep on adding as many stages you can you want okay required in the pipelines so and each job will have a set of steps to perform like it can be you know uh, create a new vm create a storage account delete a vm you know uh, spin up some service anything you can perform right you create a web app and everything so this is the basic schema structure of a yaml file okay yeah this is like the main high level you can say one two three so this is like three structure uh, schema of the yaml now let's understand how to clearly create a
All right, so finally we logged on to the um, this thing now. Let me quickly. So this is um, let's open a, a sample YAML file, guys. Okay, for you. This is a proper appropriate symphony.yaml file. Let's see. Do we have a YAML? This is, there is a YAML.php here. These are all YAML. Okay, so we have some, we found some, um, so you can see that there is a YAML folder. Now I'm just talking about, so, Okay, so this is this is how it will be a YAML file, guys. So these are an example. Okay. So let me quickly open this YAML file and show you what exactly we have in that. So you can see that you know this is a YAML file. They have initial state. You have a trigger. You have a condition. You have an action the one three things we discussed okay so you can see that they are performing different trigger condition action under action they have a they have configured delay service depends upon what exactly they want to do but these are the three focus main key uh, uh, you know structure for yaml file okay now if you go back to the here so when we click on github yaml so it will ask you to connect your github repository so i'm saying okay authorize uh, azure pipeline it will automatically redirect your to the github So it will ask, okay, which one do you want to select? Okay, let's say some repository. Um, it will ask, okay, which repository you want to select? Okay, so you can clearly select which repository and then you will select your, you know, the, your YAML file. Okay, then automatically, um, this automatically, you know, uh, it will, fetch the YAML files configuration into the Azure pipelines, okay? Now, currently I'm not, I'm rejecting this. I don't want to configure anything. So the only thing this steps is to YAML file to your uh, pipeline. The pipeline is from Azure DevOps project. That is step one. 
you need to go to the um, pipelines that is step two three connect github repos where you have your yaml file and the yaml file will be add it to pipeline i mean to azure pipeline so these are the different four steps then you will trigger the um, the pipeline so this is the uh, the the steps involved to configure the yaml file in the ci cd okay so um so guys if you have any questions uh, i request you to um you know use the comment section to to ask any questions on this okay All right, so this is uh, Sai uh, from uh, the Main Theory channel, guys. Thank you so much, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and have a nice day.